So one last platform type we're going to be looking at is the orbit behavior. So I'm going to take this platform that we've got already, which is our moving one. I'm going to edit the behaviors it's currently got. We're just going to delete both of these behaviors. I want to add two brand new behaviors. The first one I'm going to add is solid. So a platform that we're able to stand on. And the second one we're going to add is the orbit behavior. Now the orbit behavior works very much like an object going around a certain point. If you've played something like Mario Galaxy, this is something that would be quite obvious to you. So let's add it and let's see how this works. So we can scroll down and now we've got some new options under orbit. So we've got speed, acceleration, primary radius, second radius, offset angle, match rotation and enabled. I'm going to make this more like a box. So we've got our cube here and we're going to run it. Now you'll see that it's going round almost in a circular shape and the rotation's been matched as well. So it's going round and round and this creates quite an interesting challenge for our player because now we've got something that doesn't work like a normal platform we're used to. So we can turn off match rotation and what this will do is this means that it will no longer rotate. This means it's a little bit more manageable for the player and not as tricky, but still can pose quite a challenge, especially if we've got multiple of these lined up next to each other. We've also got the primary and secondary radius. So the primary radius covers the horizontal distance. So if we change this to 250, you'll see that now our platform covers a bigger horizontal distance. And because I've still got the speed set to 180, this moves fairly quickly. I can also change the secondary distance, which is all about um, the height. If we want this to be a true circle, then this would be exactly the same. Uh, this might go off the screen, but let's test it. So there we go. We're now moving in a circular motion. Obviously, we get some weird stuff happen when we hit a wall, so we just need to be careful of that. So let's put this one back down to 100. And then we can increase or decrease the speed. Again, you want this to feel like it's fair for the player. So... This might be a little bit slow for the player, it's a bit easy to get onto, but depending on what part of the level it is concerned with, depends on that.